Hello, welcome to Bollock Meet and Make. My name's Teresa Easton. I'm an artist working with artist books and printmaking. One of the last things I did at Baltic in the building was around the Judy Chicago exhibition and I ran a workshop and we made some feminist zines. Now zines are self-published, very cheaply made publications basically. So you can see this one was made using a photocopier and elastic band. So I'd like to focus on Judy Chicago's exhibition today but particularly looking at how she works with colour, particularly how she experiments with colour. Because today I'm going to show you how to marble paper. If you've never come across marble paper, I've got an example here. It reminded me of one of Judy Chicago's paintings called Let It All Hang Out. And it's made up of these beautiful swirls. And if I hold this up close, you can see, look at these beautiful swirls. And I'm going to show you how you can make yours today, and we're going to make a book cover. But generally, marbled paper would be used as decorative end papers in books. That's how it traditionally would be used. But I'm going to show you today how you can make a selection of marbled paper, quite simply, in your kitchen that is the best place at a table, using shaving foam and some colours. So you can make a little notebook like this, stuffed full of paper, at the end of this session. So the materials and equipment you're going to need to make your marble paper, the most important thing is some shaving foam. And then you'll need some kind of tray to spray your foam into. It could be a metal tray, it could be a large margarine pot, whatever you have to hand. And you're also going to need some kind of paper to marble onto. And what I've got here are some old bits of wallpaper. You could use whatever paper you have around the house. But ideally you want like a heavyweight paper. You could even try some card. You will need some card. Um, I've got some cardboard here. Because you're going to need this to glue your marbled paper onto to make a book cover. You'll also need some paint, either tubes or in bottles. If you haven't got any paint, you could use some ink. If you've got any ink in jars, you could also try some food colouring. And then you'll need something like a pencil, or I'm going to use the ends of these paint brushes to swirl the colours around. And you're going to need something like a ruler or a squeegee, because we'll have to squeegee off the shaving foam and then what might be handy is to have a spatula so you can scrape things off scrape off the shaving foam and lastly some plastic to protect the surface of wherever you're working because it can get a little bit messy so that's your tools so start off by getting your plastic cover ready or your newspaper whatever you're going to use to protect the surface and your tray nearby and you're going to squish some shaving foam into the bottom of your tray. And the smell is lovely. I've done mine about that big because that's about the size of my paper. And then with the colours that you've chosen, whether it's food colouring or paint, you're just going to do some little spots here and there, make a little pattern. You don't need a lot, just little bits. I'm using three colours. It's good to start off with two or three colours to begin with. And choose colours that maybe go together quite well. So I've got some blues and a purple. I've also found in my stash, I've got some liquid ink, so I'm just going to... Drop the liquid ink and spot that around. And then when you've put enough colours down, use the end of a pencil or a brush and you begin to swirl and make these lovely patterns. And the first sort of print that you take from it when you're making your marble paper, it might be a bit pale because sometimes you have to kind of build up the colours. And look, the more I swirl it around, 
and the more the colours come out. And you can sort of keep doing this for as long as you want, really, until you decide that you've got the pattern that you want. I think I'll leave mine there. And then you take your paper and you leave it and push it down on top. Now I like to sort of do it quite firm so that you know you're picking up the shaving foam and you're picking up the colour. And then we'll peel that off and you shall have a big smudgy mess, which is fine. And then I usually put that to one side and just leave that for about two or three minutes because you want the colours to sink into the paper. And while the shaving foam and the colours are soaking in, I've just put another piece of paper on top of what was left behind and I'm going to let that soak in. So to finish off marbling the paper, I'm going to take a ruler and I'm going to scrape off that shaving foam and see what's underneath and see if the colours transferred. Wow, look at that. That is brilliant. And then I take the spatula and I scrape off that shaving foam, pop it back into my tray. So I might use that again. So what I'm going to do now is put this to one side and let it dry. And once it's dried, I can glue it to some card to make the book cover. So once you've finished creating all your marbled paper, you have to let it dry. And when you let it dry, you might find that it goes a little bit wrinkly and that makes it hard to make a cover for a book. So what you can do is if you want to collect some bits of card, small boxes or some thinner bits of card, you can actually then glue it to a piece of card like this to give it a nice firm backing and then cut it out and then bend it like this and then that becomes the cover of your book. You could also use sort of all birthday cards, that's quite nice firm paper, a card to, to make your cover with. And then once you've done that, once you have the cover of your book, if you get some paper that's the same size as the cover of your book, you have to fold it in half, fold each piece of paper individually and then slot them inside and then take an elastic band and just pull it around the spine of the book and there's your, your notebook. And you can really practice an experiment on any different surface. This is just like the lid of a box. Try anything. Enjoy making your marbled paper.